Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Mungades Oracle. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. And today we are going to do a reading for what will your love interest do? What is their next move? And uh, this reading can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. I am using the Queen of the Moon Oracle to uh, see about their energy and then we are going to look into the situation and what they are going to do so Virgo let's see what is the energy of your person and the answer is will it's a number 13 energy so they are in their ego if you like they uh, want to manifest things in their way on their terms and um, I, I don't feel that is a very good energy <laughs> um, right now and the bottom of the deck is change so Something is happening in the background and what I'm getting today from Spirit is they are trying to push this change into the future so they, are, they may not be ready for it yet. Um, the number three shows up in both cards so emotionally they are very much touched involved in the situation and they know that the change is in inevitable but they want to delay it so not exactly sure what that is about but hopefully we can find out in a second so it's like um, being in their ego this will is like um, they are forcing something to a situation almost like to squeeze it into a box but that box is going to explode any time that's the change coming so they can't they won't be able to control this situation any longer very interesting okay so we are going to look into the past present and future and find out uh, what exactly this is about yeah the spirit is constantly taking my attention to this shell the shell uh, this this egg being pushed forward uh, it's like you know when the chick is not ready to come out it's not coming out it's not even cracked yet so the change is inevitable it is in the future they know it they sense it you know it you sense it but it shouldn't be pushed and pushed and pushed into the future it at one point needs to be addressed whatever that is so let's see about your person about your love interest uh, what is happening with them we started with the devil it's a past energy so i feel that they are or have been uh, facing their fears uh, let me just uh, find we've got two cards for the future here and the bottom of the deck is the three of cups so something to celebrate uh, some some happiness is showing up here um, okay so we've got the devil the nine of wands the four of swords with the magician and the three of cups as the bottom of the deck so 
what I believe is happening is they keep moving forward. There are lots of stuff which possibly weighing them down. They are actually exhausted on this journey. They are holding on to the one wand, which is representing the ace of wands. And we've got eight wands in the back background. So it feels like they recently got in touch with you. They started uh, communicating with you. Um, but they find it hard to push forward um, in this situation. And then the future, the near future, shows up as healing, manifesting a situation which is healing for possibly both of you. For some of you, it could be that uh, this healing will involve some ghosting or disappearing. Um, very interesting. Let me see more. We've got the Queen of Pentacles with the Devil. The Temperance with the Nine of Wands. And we've got the Ten of Swords with the Four of Swords and the Magician. So, so far, you could be dealing with Capricorn, another Virgo, or um, Sagittarius energy. And... Um, So what I feel with this Queen of Pentacles, it could be your energy or it could be that um, they are dealing with another Earth sign, could be a third party situation. And um, they are facing that... Um, connection, relationship, marriage, whatever situation that is, may not be what they wanted. So they need to face their fears about the change. And you accelerate this change. They are very keen to manifest what the two of you have. And... Um, this, this, these are future energies, so it's like um, their pain, their hurt is being magnified and they want to end the, the painful cycle. So they are trying to manifest healing, uh, end the pain, work through it, which, which is a good energy. It means like they want to uh, heal, they want to heal themselves, the situation, their patterns. And then we've got the lovers coming with the uh, Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, 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 <laughs> Empress and Temperance together, the Empress with the Temperance, and the Nine of Swords with the Ten of Swords. So they do feel that this connection with you is is destined and they have to make a choice between you and the third party they do adore you they want to manifest you in their life it's hard to come to this decision and um they are very, very worried, very much in their head. They, they don't sleep much. Um, this, this is uh, happening usually when there is a life-changing opportunity ahead, something very big they need to decide about, anyone need to decide about. Um, so this is um, feeling like a struggle they want to get hold of their power as much as possible to control the situation, but they find it really difficult to keep pushing forward. 
and right now they are um, existing in two realities one reality with the third party one reality with you and uh, it is difficult to maintain appearances it is difficult to have the energy to keep pushing forward whilst they are healing uh, closing down the the painful cycle and um, and trying to manifest something new now uh, this is like being in the very middle of this struggle um i mean it's not looking like they are at the last step of the breakthrough they they are very much in the depth the middle of this pushing through and that's why it's possible that they may disappear for a while to maybe not ghosting you but uh, maybe they ask for some time maybe a break okay let's see more let's ask the island time wellness oracle for some insights because so far what they look like they are going to do is to go quiet because they need some energy some time to hear to see things through um so it doesn't mean that they are breaking up with you it just means that they don't have the energy to 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 do this all together if it makes any sense so let's ask it about what can we know about this situation okay so the first one is photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia make new memories so they definitely definitely don't want to let you go talking interested conversing more and also it is about looking back uh, how it started between the two of you what it brought to the two of you this connection this relationship this um, whatever is between the two of you um, and they want to make new memories they want to continue this journey with you talking interested conversing more awaited message arrive text call email hoovering so it's um i think a good sign that they are able to talk about the situation and what is going on we've got the palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance flexibility so the the growth is there the healing is there and then we've got love call someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know and happy choices making happy choices in love and in life self-love self-care being happier so um i feel that um It is a slow process, but it's moving forward between the two of you. The bottom of the deck is camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. So we started with the photograph. The camera is the bottom of the deck. They want more of you, with you, of this connection. And um, yeah, I feel that there is this lightning uh, coming in for them, which creates a sudden change. That's what they are afraid of. And uh, that brings endings and new beginnings. So I want to actually clarify this change energy a little bit more, asking directly about it. Yeah, it is facing their fears. It is feeling out um, how they 
they truly feel to gather the courage to go for what they feel is right. And they are watching you. They are observing how you respond. And um, that is um, almost like giving them feedback about whether it is a good move, whether you are ready for them, whether you want what they want. But it's still, as I say, almost like the intention is there to, to do this whole process, to maybe work through this third party situation and come to you at the end, at the end of the <clears throat> process. But it's still unfolding. So it's not going to happen tomorrow. It can take a while. And they don't want to let you go, that's for sure. They, they want to find a way for this connection with you to unfold. Okay, so what is very strong here is it is a process. It will take a while. But things are shifting, changing. Let's see about this moon more. Yeah. They are gaining clarity as they are moving through the motions of this um, process. And they... Um, feel that the two of you uh, somehow uh, belong together and they find more and more clarity on this situation. And that clarity is they want a new beginning with you. They want to commit to you. You could be also dealing with a Taurus, a Libra, a Gemini, <clears throat> But the truth is that yeah, it's it's hard. It's very, very difficult. Um, it's almost breaking them to carry all of this with them which kind of a good thing because at one point they would have to surrender and say, I can't do this anymore. They have to make a decision. They do feel love for you, even if they don't show it. They want to show it more. They are trying to decide what path is for them to continue on the old path with the third party or continue with you. And in the past, they did feel defeated because maybe you had enough or pushed them away because of the third party. I believe that you both feel it's a mutual love connection. Um, you both have been broken hearted in the past about this um, and both wanted to give it another try. And I feel it, it's evolving. It's... Um, it's getting there, but it is a very, very slow process. So, yeah, it, there are lots of different pathways showing up here for, you know, it's a general reading, different possibilities. It definitely shows that they are in a committed connection and they are rethinking it, their, their third party uh, connection because of what they have with you. Okay, so this is what I have for now. Uh, I am going to continue this on Patreon and, uh, and see what else we can find out about them. Uh, maybe about their thought process um, and, and what is their intention currently. Um, what is it, is it that... Um, we can find out about them because their general intention is um, to move it forward but is that enough for you? 
uh, how long does it take? Can you stick around for that long? So, so let's look into the depth of this. Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. Uh, please do keep doing that so more people can find my channel and um, the help they need if um, there is something I can offer. Do check out my website spiritual-wonders.com and especially look into the membership offer and uh, I'm sending you lots of love. Take care. Bye for now.